Hello, hello. Welcome back to the mat, my friend, and welcome to a breathe, move, be practice. Today's practice is focusing on strength, flexibility, and balance, which is sort of the three pillars of a physical yoga practice, right? Um, so we'll be working on all three of those. We'll be working on some pranayama, some breath work, and we'll be finishing with meditation. So bringing in some breath, movement, and stillness. So it'll be a really complete practice. For today's class, you are gonna want at least one yoga block. Um, if you've got two, go ahead and grab two, but definitely at least one. And if you have not joined us in the online tribe, click the link in the description below. Come on in and join us. Go ahead and grab your props, unroll your mat, and I will meet you right here in a tall seat. All right, my friends. So go ahead and find your tall, comfortable seat. If you um, would like to sit up on your block or maybe a meditation cushion or a bolster, please feel free to do that. And find any configuration in the legs that feels most comfortable for you. We're gonna be here in a seat for a few moments as we come into our pranayama practice. So really find what is truly most comfortable for you. And once you've found that, we'll go ahead and close down the eyes here for a moment. If closing the eyes feels uncomfortable, you can gently lower the gaze. And starting to bring the attention inward. You can bring your awareness to your natural breath. Noticing its natural movement in and out of the body. We're going to begin our practice today with a pranayama practice called Surya Vedana, which is sun piercing breath. And it's super simple. We're simply going to inhale through the right nostril and exhale through the left nostril. And we'll continue our cycles of breath in that way, inhaling through the right and exhaling through the left. And this is a pranayama that's great for the mornings or for the beginning of your practice as it helps to kind of awaken your solar side, so the right side of the body, kind of builds a little bit of heat, um, brings about a sense of alertness. So we'll go ahead and take a big breath in through both nostrils, and then exhale through both nostrils. And then lift the right hand and go ahead and cover the left nostril, inhale through the right. Switch and exhale through the left. Switch again, inhale through the right. Switch again, exhale through the left. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Continue like this, inhaling through right nostril and exhaling through the left.
after your next exhale through the left side, you can go ahead and release the right hand. Allow the breath to flow naturally in and out through both nostrils. And then gently opening the eyes. And from here, make your way into tabletop position, hands and knees. Stacking shoulders right over wrists and hips over knees. We'll begin to move through some cat-cow. So inhale, drop the belly, lifting the gaze and the tailbone. And exhale, press the earth away as you round the spine and bring the chin in towards the chest. Inhale to arch, open the heart. And exhale to round. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. And exhale, round. Take two more like this. And then finding a neutral spine. Feel the crown of the head reaching forward and then extend the right leg straight, long and back, allowing the toes to point towards the earth beneath you. And then from here, start to get light on the left hand coming onto fingertips and then lifting the left arm, reaching it forward. Take an inhale here as you extend in opposite direction. As you exhale, round the spine, bring the knee to the elbow underneath you. Inhale to extend. And exhale, elbow to knee, round the spine. One more inhale. And exhale, round. Inhale, extend. And then release the left hand and the right knee to the earth. And then from here, extend the left leg long and back. Reach through the left heel. Get light on the right hand. And then extend the right arm forward. Take an inhale here. And exhale, elbow to knee as you round. Inhale, extend. And exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. And exhale. And then inhale to extend. And then release right hand and left knee to the earth. Now make sure you've got shoulders right over wrists and the hips right over knees. Go ahead and tuck the toes under. Press the earth away. Feel the shoulder blades spread on the back a little bit. Feel the navel pulling up towards the spine. And then lift the knees off the earth and hover them just a couple inches over the earth. Now from here, you can stay exactly where you are if this feels like more than enough work. If you'd like to intensify, begin to extend the right leg long and back. Keep the left knee hovering over the earth. And then bring the right toes back down and extend the left leg long and back, hovering the right knee. And then left toes to the earth, bring both knees down. As you inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. And as you exhale, round the spine. And from here, make your way into downward facing dog, tuck the toes, lift knees and hips. And you can come into any movement that speaks to you here. It's our first downward facing dog, so maybe pedaling at the feet, bending the knees, shifting hips, checking in with calves and hamstrings, seeing what they have to say today. And then finding some stillness in your downward facing dog. On an inhale, come on forward into your plank pose. Shoulders over wrists, gaze towards the front edge of your mat. Again, feel that you're pressing the earth away, the shoulder blades spread on the back, navel pulling up to the spine. Take another inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, come forward into plank pose once again, and then bring your knees onto the earth for a modified plank. 
And now begin to bend the elbows back towards the body, lower the shoulders just in line with the elbows, modified chaturanga, and then press back up into a modified plank. And then once again, lower halfway, modified chaturanga. And press up, modified plank. One more like this, lower halfway. And press up, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. Begin to walk the feet up to the hands. Finding hip width distance between the feet. Allow the torso and head to hang heavy, coming into a ragdoll fold. So keeping a bend in the knees here as much as feels comfortable for you. You can shake out the head, yes and no. Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe find a gentle sway of the torso. Allow yourself to explore movement here in this shape as you feel into the sensations along the entire back side of the body. Next, on your next inhale, lift halfway, reach crown of the head forward. And as you exhale, fold over legs. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. On an inhale, lift halfway. Stay right here as you exhale, bringing hands onto hips. Keep a bend in the knees. And on your inhale, come to stand with a flat back. Lovely. Bring the big toes to touch, finding your... Tadasana Mountain Pose here at the top of your mat, and we'll come into a variation on Surya Namaskar C. So go ahead and hook the thumbs in front of the body, bring a gentle bend into the knees, and as you inhale, swoop the arms up towards the sky, lift the heart, gentle back bend, and as you exhale, bring that gentle bend back into the knees as you fold up forward, swoop the arms all the way behind you, clasp the hands as you fold. So opening into the shoulders and the chest. Take another inhale here. And exhale, release the hands onto the earth. Step the right foot way back. Bring the right knee onto the earth. As you inhale, open the heart to the front of your mat. As you exhale, pull the hips back, Ardha Hanuman. Inhale, re-bend the left knee, plant the palms. And as you exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. As you exhale, lower the knees and then modify your chaturanga, lowering the chest. As you inhale, drop the hips, open the heart, cobra pose. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot in between the hands, right left knee onto the earth. Inhale, open the heart. As you exhale, pull the hips back, Ardha Hanumanasana, straightening right leg. Rebend the right knee, tuck the back toes, lift back knee, step the left foot up to meet the right as you fold. Hook the thumbs, gentle bend in the knees, inhale to rise, open the heart. As you exhale, gentle bend in the knees, fold forward, swoop the arms all the way behind you, clasping the hands as you fold. Taking a breath here, feeling opening in the shoulders. And then releasing hands onto the earth and stepping the left foot way back. Left knee to the earth as you inhale, open the heart. As you exhale, straighten right leg a little or a lot. Inhale, re-bend the right knee, plant the palms. Exhale, step right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. As you exhale, lower the knees. Bend the elbows, lower the, sh the shoulders. As you inhale, drop the hips, open the heart, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Step left foot in between the hands, right knee onto the earth. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten left leg a little or a lot. Inhale, re-bend the left knee and step right foot up to meet the left as you fold. Hook thumbs in front of the body. Inhale, rise to stand, lift the heart. And exhale, bring hands into heart center. Release arms by the sides of the body. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. On your inhale, lift the arms up high. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, fold over legs. Inhale, lift the gaze and lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, step back into your plank pose. Take an inhale here. 
Exhale, option to lower the knees and modify or keep the knees lifted for Chaturanga. Inhale for Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. And from here, step the right foot in between the hands. We're coming into Warrior Two. So the left heel spins onto the earth. Heel of the front foot intersecting arch of the back foot, lifting the torso. Bending deeply into the right knee. You've got the hips, the shoulders, the chest, all facing the side of your mat. Gaze is over the front middle finger. Feel for an external rotation in the leg. So this is a hip opener. So feel that the thighs sort of roll outwards in this pose. Legs are gonna stay exactly as they are. Flip the front palm, lean the torso back, peaceful warrior. So notice if you start to lose some of the bend in the right knee, keep the bend in the knee as you reach back through the right fingertips. Now the upper body stays exactly as it is as you straighten the right leg for a reverse triangle. Take one more inhale here, get a little more length in the right side. And as you exhale, take all of this length over the right leg, coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Right arm comes down onto the shin, maybe onto a block, as the left arm extends up towards the sky. Make sure that the chest is staying open towards the left side of your mat. And then from here, bring a gentle bend into the right knee as you lift back up, warrior two. From here, start to straighten into the right leg just a little bit and turn the left heel in slightly so that the left toes are pointing to the back corner of your mat. Now begin to bend deeply into the left knee as the right leg straightens, the right toes are pointing up to the sky. So you should be towards the back of your mat with the left knee bent, the right leg long, right toes pointing to the sky. Hands can be here on the earth for balance. If you feel steady, you can bring hands into heart center, wherever you are, reach the sternum towards the sky and the tailbone towards the earth, finding length in the spine. And there's our rooster. <laughs> Has he been crowing this whole time? <laughs> Just heard him. Alrighty, my friends, from here, bring hands onto the earth, bring the weight onto both feet, turn the left foot so that the outside edge of the left foot becomes parallel to the front of your mat, and turn the left toes to face the back of your mat, bend into the left knee, lift the torso, open the arms, warrior two facing the back of your mat. So you've got the left knee bent, you're facing the back of your mat, in your Virabhadrasana two. And from here, flip the front palm. Keep the legs exactly as they are as you lean back, peaceful warrior. Keep the upper body as it is, stir in the left leg, reverse triangle. Take one more inhale, get a little bit longer on the left side. As you exhale, take all that length over the left leg, coming into your Trikonasana triangle pose, right arm extending towards the sky, chest nice and open to the side of your mat. Maybe the gaze turns up towards the right fingertips. Bring a gentle bend into the left knee as you lift up into warrior two. And then from here, straighten into the left leg a little bit, turn the right heel in, bend deeply into the right knee as the left leg straightens for skandasana. So now you are towards the front of your mat with the right knee bent. Hands can be on the earth or at heart center. Find that length in the spine to the crown of the head, reaches high towards the sky.
and then bring hands onto the earth. Bring the weight onto both feet and turn both feet so that they are parallel to each other. So you're facing the side of your mat. Two straight legs. Take an inhale here, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, fold over legs, wide-legged forward fold. Hands can come in line with the feet if that's available. If the earth feels too far away here, you can also bring blocks underneath the hands. Make this pose work for you. Notice if you are locking at the knees and gently lift the kneecaps up towards the hip points so that the quadriceps stay active. And then bring hands underneath shoulders as you inhale, lengthen spine. Now turn the right toes to face the front of your mat. Walk the hands over to the inside edge of the right foot. And you might need to heel to the right foot out towards the right side of your mat. Come onto the ball of the back foot for lizard pose. So you can stay um, with the back knee lifted if you'd like a more active lizard. Um, if not, you can bring the left knee onto the earth. And you can stay right here on hands. If you would like to take this a little bit deeper, you can explore coming onto forearms. And if the earth feels a bit far away, you can bring a couple blocks um, underneath you and you can bring forearms onto blocks and kind of find this in-between space if you feel that you're not quite ready to bring forearms onto the earth, but you would like to go a little bit deeper than hands, um, the blocks can help you there. Now you can stay exactly as you are here. If you'd like to add a bit of a quad stretch on the left side, you can begin to twist the torso open towards the right as you reach the right hand towards the back of your mat, bend at the left knee, lifting the left foot, bringing the left foot into the right hand and pulling the foot in towards the seat. At the same time as you open the chest towards the right side, there's a lot going on here, so breathe into it. Take it nice and slow. And if you decided to take hold of left foot, go ahead and gently release it. And then bring both hands onto the earth. We'll tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. And take the right foot back for a downward facing dog. And we'll come into lizard pose on the other side. So we'll step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. And you can kind of ease yourself into your lizard pose on this side. You can choose if you'd like to keep the right knee lifted or lower it to the earth. Entirely up to you. You can also choose if you'd like to stay up here on hands, if you'd like to explore coming onto forearms. You can take a few breaths in one place and then maybe explore coming a little bit further as, as you breathe into the pose. You can stay exactly as you are, or you can begin to open the chest towards the left leg, extend the left arm towards the back of your mat, bend at the right knee, lifting the right foot into the left hand, pulling the leg in towards the seat as you spin the chest open towards the left leg. If you took the foot, gently release it back. And we'll bring both hands onto the earth, tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee, and stepping the left foot back into downward facing dog. You can pedal at the feet here a little bit, release into the hips. 
And from here, we're gonna step the right foot in between the hands for warrior two once again. So set up the legs when you feel steady, lifting the torso, extending the arms. And from here, we'll come into side angle pose. So the right forearm can come onto the thigh. Left arm will reach towards the front of your mat, turning the palm to face the earth. Everything stays open towards the side of your mat. So the chest, the hips, still facing left side of your mat. Now from here, bring left hand onto the left hip. Bring the right hand down onto the earth. We're gonna bring the right hand one, two spaces in front of the right foot and one space out to the right. So you can start to heel toe the left foot in. Option to bring the right hand onto a block. As we lift the left leg, we're coming into Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. So again, the hips and the chest are staying open towards the side of your mat. If you feel steady, the left arm can extend up towards the sky. If that feels steady, maybe you turn the gaze up ooh, towards the left fingertips. Stay really active through the left leg. It'll help you with the balance here. And if this feels really super steady, you can play with bending at the left knee, taking hold of the left foot with the left hand and pressing the foot gently into the hand as you find opening in the heart. And if you took hold of the foot, gently release it back, find your half moon. Bend deeply into the right knee, step the left foot way back. Come back into your warrior two. Take an inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel hands onto the earth and step the right foot back. Take a vinyasa here if you'd like it. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. And from here, we'll step left foot in between the hands, right heel to the earth, set yourself up for your Vajrasana two. Find a sense of steadiness here on two legs. Coming into um, side angle pose, left forearm to thigh, right arm extends towards the front of your mat, palm turning towards the earth. Long line of energy from the outside edge of the right foot all the way through the right fingertips. Go ahead and bring right hand onto the right hip. Left hand comes onto the earth. Begin to heel toe the right foot in. Left hand comes forward two spaces, one space out to the left. Take all the weight onto the left leg, lifting the right leg high, keeping the hips, the chest, open towards the right side of your mat. Right arm lifts to the sky. Maybe the gaze lifts up towards the right fingertips. And if you feel super steady here, you can play with bending at the right knee, bringing the right foot back, taking hold of right foot with the right hand and pressing the right foot into the hand as you find a bit of opening in the heart. And if you took the foot, gently release it back. Bend deeply into the left knee, step the right foot way back, find your warrior two. Take an inhale. Exhale, cartwheel hands onto the earth. Step left foot back, vinyasa here if you'd like it. And downward facing dog. From here, go ahead, bring knees onto the earth. The big toes touch, seat to feet, forehead onto the mat for child's pose. Allow yourself to come back into your breath. And from here, 
Gently begin to lift the torso. Shift the weight all the way onto one side. Bring the legs around in front of you. And come onto your back with the soles of your feet on the earth. So we're gonna come into some bridge waves here. So you want soles of both feet flat, the knees pointing up to the sky. So you're gonna set yourself up the same way you would for a bridge pose. And we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky, and at the same time, lift the arms, bring them all the way overhead to touch the earth. And then as we exhale, we'll lower the arms and lower the hips. So we'll take five of those. Here we go, inhale to lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Take two more like this. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. From here, bring your knees as or feet as wide as your mat and allow the knees to drop to one side and then the other, finding some windshield wipers with the knees. And then hug the knees into the chest and roll yourself up into a seat. And from here, we'll come into a seated twist. So extending both legs long in front of you, make sure you're sitting up on sit bones, not rolling back on your tailbone. If you find that you are sort of rolling back a little bit, you can bring a, a blanket or a towel or a small cushion underneath your seat. Go ahead and bring the right knee in towards the chest and then cross the right leg over the left so that the sole of the right foot comes flat onto the earth outside the left knee. Flex the left foot back towards you. Take the right arm lifted up by the right ear. Take an inhale here to lengthen. Now as you exhale, twist to the right from the belly, the ribs, the shoulders. Right hand comes behind you like a little kickstand. The left arm can hug the right leg in, or you can hook the elbow to the outside of the right leg, whatever feels most comfortable for your twist today. Don't forget about the left foot. Make sure you're flexing it back towards you. And the gaze will come over the right shoulder. On an inhale, turn head, shoulders, ribs, belly to center. Extend right leg long, bring left knee in. Crossing the right leg over, or left leg over the right, sole of the left foot comes flat outside the right knee. Inhale here, lift left arm by the ear. As you exhale, twist to the left from the belly, the ribs, the shoulders. Left hand comes behind you. You can hug the leg or hook the elbow, whatever feels best for you today and turning the gaze to look over the left shoulder. And as you inhale, turn head, shoulders, ribs, and belly to center. Extend the left leg long. As we inhale, we'll lift the arms up by the ears, lengthen, and as you exhale, reach the heart towards the feet as you lower the torso over the legs. The hands can come down, maybe onto the shins, maybe onto the ankles, maybe taking hold of feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine, reach the heart forward, and as you exhale, maybe fold a little bit deeper. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, maybe fold a little bit more. One more, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. And gently lifting the torso. And from here, make your way into a comfortable seat. So whatever that means for you today, any configuration in the legs that feels most comfortable for you, go ahead and find that. We're gonna close out our practice with another pranayama practice. 
So make sure that you are nice and comfortable. We'll close out with some pranayama and a guided meditation. And so we'll close out with Chandra Vedana, which is the counterpart to the pranayama we started with. Chandra Vedana is the, is the moon piercing breath and it helps to activate the left side of the body. So our cooler, calmer side. This is a nice, a nice practice for the end of your practice or for the end of your day, because it helps to bring about that kind of cool, calm, winding down energy. And really nice and easy, it's practiced by inhaling through the left side and exhaling through the right. So we'll continue to use the right hand to cover the nostrils. We'll just be inhaling and exhaling through the opposite side uh, than what we started with. So go ahead and allow the eyelids to close or gently lower the gaze. Allow your awareness to settle inwardly on your breath. And take a big breath in through both nostrils. And exhale through both nostrils. Go ahead and lift the right hand, cover the right nostril, inhale through the left. Switch sides, exhale through the right. Switch again, inhale through the left. Switch and exhale through the right. Switch and inhale left. Switch, exhale right. Switch, inhale left. Switch, exhale right. Switch, inhale left. Switch, exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Continue like this, inhaling through left side and exhaling through the right. And then the next time you exhale through the right nostril, release the right hand. Allow the breath to move in and out through both nostrils on its own rhythm. Not doing anything to it or with it. And in this space of stillness, notice how you feel. And perhaps you feel a bit lighter, a bit calmer, a bit more your truest self.
Now allow yourself to bring to mind whatever it is that you have remaining to do in your day. So if it's the morning, reflecting on where you need to go today, who you will see and what you will do. Perhaps it's the afternoon or the evening. Whatever time it is, take a moment here to envision what is coming for the rest of your day. And now allow yourself to bring to mind the kind of energy you want to bring to what remains of your day. So as you go about whatever tasks or events you need to go to, as you interact with the people with whom you'll interact, What version of yourself do you want to bring to each of these things? See yourself go through the rest of your day as the best version of yourself. Calling upon strength when you need to lean on strength. Allowing for flexibility when you need to be a bit more flexible and go with the flow of life. Finding a sense of balance in all things that you do through the rest of this day. Know that you have the power to bring your best self to each and every day. Go ahead and take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Bring your palms to touch at heart center and bow the head gently towards the hands. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you here in this practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me here on the mat today. I'll meet you right back here on the mat next time.